get Steve put a fan TV. I'm outside the Riverside. They have big Steve with me. We beat West Brom with a well-deserved one 0 win, Steve. Don't win big games, do we? We we had a conversation <laughs> earlier on today. These are the games we were losing last season, mate. We, that winner was by a footballer who forgot the ball to play football 20 minutes ago. Remember that run he did, 60-yard run? And, <laughs> and you thought, what's a centre half run that far? He stopped, didn't he? And you yeah. went, what the fuck am I doing here? And hoofed it into to a kid in row six in the north stand. Yeah. And he does that. That's an incredible finish. Yeah. We deserve that. We did deserve that. They'll probably say, well, we only had a couple of shots on targets. But we outworked them, we outfought them, we outthought them. We were better than them. It had that big game feel, Steve. Yeah. Especially through the second half, you could feel we were building up for summer. When, when, when Mo came on, when Hugo came on, you know what I mean? Players like that, is it? that's what we've needed, isn't it? Them big time players, them players who actually want to put the shirt on. Yeah. I mean, we've got a lad who used to sit 10 rows down from where I am in the North Stand. I mean, we've got Mo, who was waxing lyrical about the football club. You know what I mean? That's who you want to wearing that shirt, don't you? Like you say, from back to front again, we had the same at Bristol last week. I I'm feeling to pick a man of the match tonight because they were all absolutely fantastic. Housing. Oh, <laughs> like you say, there's not a ball got past him again today and he didn't miss a second ball, Steve. He ran that midfield. You think that you've got a midfield that he had up against him. You've got Jake Livermore, Chris Brunt, Jimmy Morrison came on. You know what I mean? You had players like that, Premier League calibre, and he ran it. He ran the show. He showed Clayton how to do it. He showed McNair how to do it when he came on. He showed Downing how to do it. He bossed that midfield. He's showing exactly why we paid the money for him. It's, it's about time, really. But he's showing it now, isn't he? No, you say we had glimpses last season, but he, he hasn't put a foot wrong yet. He hasn't, has he? Not many of them have, to be fair. Let's face it. Four wins in a row. Four wins in a row. I, I can't remember your course when you came out of Millwall. What the F's just happened there? <laughs> I don't believe it. So much has changed since that last 10 minutes at Millwall. Yeah. It's, hasn't it? It's unbelievable. Well, we didn't know what the fuck was going on at Millwall, did we? Let's face it. Yeah. And then you've got... Shotton didn't know whose boots he had on. <laughs> I, don't know, I, don't think, I don't think they the first half he knew what boots he had on, yeah. did he? But there's another one, the wing-backs. We were adjusting to it first 25. That was their opportunity and they didn't take it. Yeah. You've got players like Matty Phillips running out here. Harvey Barnes, you know, players like that. And we dealt with it. He was their best player and he took him off. Yeah, took him off for Jim, Jimmy Morrison, didn't yeah. he? You know what I mean? But, but yeah, it's, it's, it's still, it's only a good start, but it's not, it's not the worst player to start, is it? That that was brilliant. It's a, a similar to Karank to start the season we went up. Don't mention that fucker, fuck's sake. What are you doing? The amount of points. He's got more. Yeah. He's got more. We started like that yeah. when we had Karanka to start the season, didn't we? We started like that. Never started like that. Never started like that. Another clean sheet, Steve. Another clean sheet. That's, that's four in a row. Yeah. We haven't conceded since that, since Randolph thought he was a skipping roll. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's things like that. It's momentum. And look what we've got next Friday. We've got another big one at the fucking shed. Yes, I said shed. I fucking hate that place. But it's, it's another big one, isn't it? If we build it up now, build it up now. Give you an hour on, on Tuesday night. I'll keep building it. We'll go into Leeds on Friday. If they think they can pass round us, they'll take one fucking foot through Paddy Bamford's knee to start them right out. Big Steve. Thanks for coming on Borough Fan TV. It's brilliant, there.